hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can quickly change the proportions uh, of your meta human body make it uh, taller uh, using mesh morpher in unreal engine 5 uh, this is a very uh, quick uh, method to, to adjust the height of your meta human uh, in the engine right so you don't have to use any other uh, dcc software like uh, blender or maya or whatever right so First of all, uh, you have to open uh, Mesh Morpher and uh, you have to uh, download your MetaHuman and uh, open the MetaHuman Blueprint, right? So we need to see uh, which mesh uh, our uh, MetaHuman is using. So we have uh, female, medium, underweight body skeletal mesh, right? So this is our mesh and uh, we want to make it a little bit taller so how can we do that uh, we open it in uh, in uh, mesh morpher and we go to create from pose once we go to create from post we can select any bone uh, we see fit we can go to uh, spine five four three doesn't really matter we're gonna use just uh, 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 any bone for this uh, any spine bone for this uh, video so we can move uh, kind of quickly because I want to showcase you uh, I want to sh showcase you a problem that you may encounter with uh, some skeletal meshes and uh, how you can fix that right so uh, we made uh, our meta human toner I'm gonna just uh, for the sake of exaggerations uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit more taller and uh, I'm gonna click bake skeleton right so it's gonna take a little bit for uh, all the vertices to be baked because uh, the process to change the skeleton right so, uh, uh, the uh, vertex data as well and uh, as you can see we have here a problem this is the problem I was uh, telling you earlier this is a problem with the mesh itself this uh, mesh uh, uh, when was imported uh, by the bridge by the quixel bridge uh, it wasn't uh, properly imported right so this is a common problem with this kind of meshes so how can uh, we fix this well uh, to fix this, uh, we need to uh, restart. I mean, don't save the mesh, right? So we're gonna restart here. Always uh, work with duplicates. Uh, it's better to first test uh, your uh, duplicate. But I want, I wanted to. Uh, I knew this is gonna happen, but I wanted to show you uh, exactly some problems that you may encounter uh, when uh, baking the skeleton or manipulating the mesh data in engine right so now that we have our uh, our uh, mesh uh, back uh, we need to export it right so we're gonna go to asset actions and uh, export right just uh, give it whatever name you want and uh, hit save keep everything enabled here uh, it's with the default settings is fine and uh, click export now we have to remove this uh, this mesh this is a problematic mesh we've seen that right so medium underweight body right so I'm gonna open this and it's a skeletal mesh uh, we we already have uh, uh, the skeleton so we're gonna use that it's fine uh, you keep these uh, settings enabled and uh, import right so now that our uh, so now that our mesh is uh, uh, re-imported just uh, reassign the material okay and uh, we can uh, go ahead and uh, change the height right so let's see first how uh, our uh, Meta human looks okay. Come on, we need to uh, reassign uh, the body female, medium, underweight. This was the one, right? Body not here. Damn, what is it? Okay. Let me use the mesh morpher to find it uh, quickly. 
okay and now we can browse to it okay let's assign it okay now we we have it uh, in place we have it back right so let's save this and let's get back to Mesh Morpher and uh, restart our uh, uh, skeleton baking right so we wanted to to make uh, uh, the metahuman taller so we we would select let me do this oh, okay we can close this uh, so we want uh, to to bake our uh, skeleton let me uh, okay so now let's get back to it and uh, let's select spine tree this is the bone we decided we want to to use to change the height of uh, our metahuman right so we are gonna just move it up because this is the only thing we want to make we don't want to make it flat we don't want to change hands we don't want to do anything we just want the upper body a little bit taller right so uh, obviously you could do the same for legs or whatever bone you want but for this uh, particular video this is uh, what we, uh, we are gonna do so after uh, we've selected the height let me exaggerate a little bit so the changes are uh, more visible right uh, after we change the height uh, we can go ahead and uh, click on uh, bake skeleton it's gonna take a little bit we have to process all LODs we have to write uh, everything right just uh, uh, bear with me and now uh, as you can see our metahuman is taller look at her uh, upper body this is uh, way much uh, bigger than uh, what we we originally had right just compile so everything uh, arranges properly and this is it right so don't forget uh, if uh, you get uh, the scrambled mesh after uh, you bake just export it uh, to fbx and re-import it back right so you don't have to do that for heads uh, or faces uh, metahuman faces uh, that only occurs with uh, the body that only has uh, the hands and feet right uh, this uh, this mesh this uh, cut mesh here right so this only happens so uh, with this kind of meshes so yeah uh, this is it for this video and uh, see you around bye